This is our main event for Cinco de Mayo, right here, Eastside Soccer Dome, for this. Hijo de Mascara Sagrada's return a OLT. His last appearance, he had his mask practically ripped off of his head by this Joker Jr. In addition, to Hijo de Medico Asesino and Yakuza. And Hijo de Mascara Sagrada wants revenge. Obviously, he's got a size advantage over the three Rudos. And he's teaming up with two very impressive high-flying Voladores. So this should be a very spirited six-man tag team, two out of three falls main event. And Yakuza to square off against Super Chaos, potentially to start it all off. Hijo de Mascara Sagrada was up involved in a full-out, all-out brawl that involved flying garbage cans and all sorts of other crazy experiences last time around. And his leaping skill is impressive, but the whole entire team is just loaded with great high flyers. Yakuza, the master of strong style and Lucha Libre technique. Legend in his own right, trainer of future stars as well. And Yakuza is firmly in belief that based off of his most recent victory with Ray Lampago and this Joker Jr. that he has the edge. And there's been a lot of talk about what could happen when Discovery locks horns with Hijo de Mascara Sagrada because they were teammates before, but now they're on opposite sides of this match. Yakuza has a choice if he will continue to engage in battle with Super Chaos or make a tag and illegal switch to one of his partners. Single leg takedown trapping the left ankle. Obviously a high flyer will indeed be in a lot of peril if they cannot use both of their legs to leap in the air. Super Chaos alertly escapes a Yakuza and changes direction very quickly, as good as anyone else. And Yakuza's win-loss record against the very best in all of Lucha Libre. From Mexico to the United States, all points in between. It doesn't matter if you wrestle for IWRG, AAA, Mexico, Yakuza can go move for move, hold for hold, strike for strike with anyone. Although Super Chaos has held his own and is a top contender in his own right in LLT, these other high flyers and impressive athletes all deserve to be mentioned as well. Bangalore Del Futuro, the fighter from the future. So excellent, so alert. Very inspirational athlete of the ring. Brings his heart every time to an LLT ring. He has had some fantastic battles in the past. Three win loss record. Discovery talking among the technical fans. Bangalore trying to roll up the troops on the other side. We're going to have a conference out here. Vigo de Mascara Sagrada says, I'm tired of talking about revenge. I want to get it. The official is still counting. Won't it be weird if the first fall and the second fall ended at the same time if all six were counted out, or five of the six? And Scarry says, I can stand on a chair and be taller than anybody. And then he called Mascara Sagrada did the same thing and then it wasn't so funny anymore. Hijo de Mascara Sagrada is waiting for his time to get in the ring to get his revenge. Vingador del Futuro. Great with satellite DDTs, flying head scissors, burning canranas. Discovery continues to jaw jack among the fans and the crowd. Discovery. Triple A experience, WWF experience. He has been everywhere around the world several times. And LLT is the spot where he trains the current and future stars of the ring. As soon as Bangalore dragged down the
Welcome to Discovery. Discovery said, nah, I don't have to face you head on. I can do this whenever I feel like it. And Discovery has no problem taking flight either. He'll dive between the ropes and he'll try to tackle somebody if need be. As Discovery tries to look, lock eye to eye with his adversary in the ring. Swept the leg out from underneath Vangador before Vangador countered into a wrist lock takeover. Another sweeping takedown, but Vangador gets up very quickly. In terms of speed and youth, Vangador has it. Discovery, despite being a decade, three decades in the ring in terms of experience, he can still handle the quick pace that the youngsters bring to the ring. Discovery grabbing a hold of Vangador's head. Vangador trying to wrap out of it. Trying to turn in and out. Teammates supporting Vangador in this one. The battle of Technicos and Rudos hits its peak here for Cinco de Mayo. It's a party environment, but if and only if the Technicos can overcome. Vangador keeps nipping up, but Discovery anchors his body. That time, Vangador wouldn't give up. And that's a great sample for the youth of the world. Hey, don't give up. Keep fighting on. If you try and try again, you might have a chance to win. <laughs> Trying for a single leg. Discovery with a collar and elbow tie up for a moment. Bangalore snatches a side headlock. Discovery trying to strike his way out of it. And he's been known for a number of Death Valley driver variations. Dragged him down, got caught. Discovery might have to tap here. His arm is trapped. Bangalore could get the first fall real quick here. Even without equal de Moscow to Sagrada get in the ring. Discovery so excellent on the mat, knows a counter for every hold. Two count only. Discovery bridges out, rolls his shoulder. Discovery switches positions. Nice snapmare there by Vangador. Discovery again rolls to the outside. So Discovery off to a tough start here. Can't seem to get out of first gear. And now he gets to see Nico de Mosca de Sagrada against one of the individuals who tried to snap off his mask in the past. There's a lot of bad blood here. They should get interesting very quickly. This could turn into a brawl or a high-flying spectacle. Excellent height does Ico de Mosca de Sagrada carry. He's got great leaping skills, excellent with head scissors, long arms and legs. Very good in the ring in terms of being on the mat. Known for a torpedo dive, also known for a high cross body block. Why is Discovery carrying this Joker Jr.? Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Somebody's gonna fall, somebody's gonna hurt themselves. Yeah, Discovery said forget about it, I'm out of here. I don't blame him. Test of strength, he can't reach that high. This stroker trips him down, wraps around the head and neck. People there, Moscato Sagrada has had a lot of storied battles in Chicagoland against Eco de Rey Mysterio, against Sky Day, against Eco de Medical Asesino, and a whole host of others. He knows Chicago very well. How did he land on his feet? Very nice counter by Eco de Moscato Sagrada. No clothesline is going to take down that big man. Forget about that. The technical precision, the physicality, the dives, the craziness. The matchups just favor Eco de Mascara Sagrada here. He's here for redemption, he's here for revenge, retaliation, and more. All Rudo surrounding Eco de Mascara Sagrada at this point. And everyone wanted the fame, fortune, and the opportunity to snatch off that mask of Eco de Mascara Sagrada. Being evil, being a tyrant, and a designated hitman, and obviously the Rudos now are trying to use a three-on-one strategy to attack the Technicos and try to ground them and eliminate them from this situation. Now the Rudos take charge. 
And the question remains is, when this action gets to turn out to be a brawl over this building, who will it favor? The Rudolphs or the Technicals? And at this point, it's the Rudolphs all the way. Deathstroker Jr. easily strikes Super Chaos down. And the action in the ring is focused on Yakuza and Vengador del Futuro. Super Chaos trying to recover on the outside of the ring. Double team back body drop. The Rudos are dominating right now. Uh, it looks like Discovery. You might be looking to unlace some of those uh, some of the parts, some of the links in that mask. Amigo de Mascara Sagrada before Yakuza yanks it off. The fans asked for another one and they got a second back body drop. And now the exchange. Disjoker Jr., Yakuza against Super Chaos, who blatantly tried to punt him right in the jaw. Eagle Day Mascara Sagrada trying to recover on the outside. The technicals generally do not want to break the rules, but in a situation like this, with all the bad blood that has boiled in the past between the combatants, you have a feeling that sometimes the technicals might have to break the rules just so that they can keep up with the Rudos and their rule breaking. Double team pickup. They caught him in midair. Super Chaos dumped right onto his stern. Terrible fall for Super Chaos. This, this, this stroker Jr. stopping repeatedly on the rib cage of Hijo de Mascara Sagrada while Discovery is strangling the guy along the ring apron. Inside out, again, Super Chaos continuously dropped right onto his front side. Discovery's losing his marbles out there. He's just chopping Hijo de Mascara Sagrada repeatedly. Diving attack by Discovery on Eagle and Mosca to Sagrada to the crowd. Low blow to Bangalore. Submission attempt to Super Chaos. Will Super Chaos tap out? And indeed, the leg of Super Chaos has been hurt. And a submission win might be instituted here. The Rudos might have already scored a one fall league. The question is, did the team captain suffer the fall or do they have to get another fall in this situation? Eagle de Mascara Sagrada still out on the outside. Bangalore being submitted by two Rudos at the same time. The Rudos have totally destroyed the technicals to end the first fall. Wow. The high flyers were grounded, and when the brawling started, Discovery neutralized Equal de Mascara Sagrada, so he could not save his other high flying teammates. And now the attack continues on the floor. The second fall begins on the outside of the ring. You can't make a man tap out on the outside, can you? You're trying to yank his head and twist it in a knot. Much like the Rudos did in the first fall, they're using brawling to separate the technicals here. Reverse chin lock to Bangalore. Yakuza kicking down Super Chaos. Discovery working over Eco de Mascara Sagrada. The Rudos are hoping to get a home run here, Grand Slam, and to win this two fall streak so that the technicals do not fly in the air, do not exhibit any sort of fireworks and literally just give this match up. This Joker Jr. with a running clothesline. Vangador has been grounded. And once again, Yakuza yanking for the mask as a prize, as a mantelpiece. He is literally snatched and stolen off masks off of multiple other luchadors throughout Mexico. 
at LLT events in the past. Yakuza going straight after Ico. Their Mascara Sagrada on the floor. The action is on the outside of the ring. Discovery now paired off with Super Chaos. That first into the shoulder first into the post goes Super Chaos. Bangalore elevated, dropped right on his ribs. The matchups here favor the Rudos despite Ico de Mascara Sagrada's size advantage. Two on one in the ring. It's Ico de Mascara Sagrada being double teamed at the hands of Yakuza and Dishtoker Jr. Again, Super Chaos is down, head first into the post. The Rudos are trying to win and win decisively here. This would be an extremely dominant victory if the three Rudos can triple team equal de Mascara Sagrada to his demise. Everyone taking turns running into equal de Mascara Sagrada in the middle in the ring in the corner. The Rudos game plan is three on one from here on out in the ring. Eagle de Mascara Sagrada takes the corner pretty hard. And Super Chaos is about to join him. Oh, look at that. Super Chaos avoided the contact. Landed on his feet. Bangalore placed on the second rope in support. There it is. Upwards kick. Stepping Grotto. Down goes Discovery. High cross body block by Super Chaos to this Joker Jr. And now Yakuza, head to head with the man who he snatched his mask from before. Swing and a miss. And there's a strike that you'll remember. You'll see that handprint on your chest for the next several days. Yakuza says, I can strike harder than that. Well, he didn't knock him down. Toe to toe. And Yakuza's about ready to whine and cry about it. It's a back and forth struggle right here between Ico de Mascara Sagrada and Yakuza right now. Strike for strike, shot for shot. No man is gonna back down from this struggle at single de Mayo. Back and forth. Yakuza ducks, dropkick sends Ico de Mascara Sagrada to the floor. Yakuza, up in the air, flying diving attack on Ico de Mascara Sagrada on the floor. Wow, now the Rudos have a legit chance to get the second fall real quick here. Oh, he forgot. He got yanked down face first on the edge of the ring. Wait a minute! Ico de Mascara Sagrada, he flew like a torpedo on the Yakuza on the floor. <laughs> Discovery's blaming the fans for this. It's not their fault. The Rudos are distracted. Ico de Mascara Sagrada, hoping to finish off Yakuza. High cross body press. Yakuza tried to kick out of it. Up in the air. He got him into a rolling pinning attempt. He did it. Ico de Mascara Sagrada, I think has tied it. Two rolling pinning attempts. The Tacticals have tied this one ball piece. <laughs> is one to one and whoever wins this fall will win it all in today's Cinco de Mayo main event at the Eastside Soccer Dome for LLT Lucha Libre. Equal de Mascara Sagrada isolated Yakuza took advantage of an opportunity drove him down maintained concentration worked with 
both his teammates exceptionally well, and they were successful. The question is, can they maintain the momentum to win this deciding throw? If the Rudos were smart, they would regroup. They would try to do what's possible to ignore the fans and to do what they did in the first fall, ground the opposition, and then try to dominate from there. It's the third and deciding fall in our main event. LLT at Eastside Soccer Dome for Cinco de Mayo. Discovery's done playing around. Now it's serious. Discovery says that he has the power. He has the size. Hijo de Mascara Sagrada might be taller in stature, but doesn't have the accolades of one Discovery. He's not here to play around. The playtime's over. The third falls upon us. Trying to trap that left arm. Nice counter. Equal de Mascara Sagrada uses the top rope to slingshot off. So that way he can avoid the contact and he yanked down Discovery. Nice arm drag takeover. Discovery slides to the outside. No diving attack that time. Yakuza with the chop to the chest. Yakuza wants revenge over what happened moments ago. He felt as though that victory roll was a tainted win. Too close to the ropes. Nikolai Mascara Sagrada with the side kick. That Savat kick did damage. And there's a missile drop kick. Down goes Yakuza. Nikolai Mascara Sagrada trying to take the match over with a tilt to world backbreaker to this Joker Jr. Big spiraling slam. Everyone getting tilt to world backbreakers all over the place. Nikolai Mascara Sagrada is rolling the ring. And can the partners now do the damage that Hijo de Mascara Sagrada did to continue the momentum swinging in the favor of the Technico? <laughs> Dropped on by Disco Joker Jr. Vangador tries to yank at the head and neck. There's a cradling pinning attempt. Vangador so quick, so sudden with the way that he can try to attack and roll up his opponents with a number of cradles and another number of pinning combinations. Spinning heel kick, well done by Deuce Joker Jr. He dropped his smaller adversary very easily with that single shot. Guerrero slowing the action down. They don't want Vangador Del Petrudo to accelerate. They don't want him to get to a higher level and try high-flying, high-risk moves. Wow, what a beautiful counter. Wrist lock takeover. This Joker Jr. slides to the outside, and Vangador continues to maintain the advantage for the Technicos. Super Chaos against Yakuza. This is how the match started. Drop down by Yakuza, nip up by Super Chaos. Back and forth. And again, the Technicos continue to drag down their adversaries. Second rope, tries to flip all end over end, maintains his balance, and still drags down Yakuza. Very nicely done. Chop to the chest, Super Chaos starts to climb the ropes. Nice springboard. Bounced off the ropes and dragged down Yakuza again. Stoker Jr. with the legal exchange. Yakuza left the ring. This Stoker Jr. is the one that represents the Rudos at this time. It's one on one. Ducks the clothesline. And there's this Stoker Jr. showing his skills in the air and his tumbling ability. Tried a straddling attack. It was denied. Super Chaos moved out of the way. Trying to go for a flipping pile driver. But instead, nice innovation on the move. Stayed in the air, delivered the wrist lock takedown. 
Spinning head scissors, puts down this stroker junior again. Drop down into a pinning combination. This stroker trying to win it for the team, but Super Chaos powers out of it. Third ball, no room for error in this situation. Both teams want to win on Cinco de Mayo, and they want to celebrate their way. Super Chaos in his corner, did not make the tag. Maybe should have. Yes, he did. He did make the tag. Nice springboard, high-flying Rana by Bangalore to Distroker. Another one by Super Chaos to Yakuza. And now the bodies have dispersed. Who's going to take flight first from the high-flying Technicos? Discovery of the ring. Arm drag. Up in the air. There's the spine power bomb. Inca de Mascara Sagrada has been Discovery. Did they win the third ball? They did. Cinco de Mayo. The technical set for it at the end. What great flying dives by Super Chaos and Bangalore del Futuro on two of the Rudos in the ring. Ico de Mascara Sagrada maintained his concentration, hit the power bomb on Discovery, and the Technicos have scored revenge. In particular, Ico de Mascara Sagrada protects his mask, protects his identity. And all of the training, all the hard work, all the effort, Ico de Mascara Sagrada showed us a great exhibition of high flying skill and determination in order to win in this high impact. High flying debacle. What great action. We've witnessed here tonight.
hijo de Máscara Sagrada.
Bolívar.